Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on EDIUS Pro and today we're going to start a series on the filters of uh, EDIUS and uh, in today's lesson we're going to look at uh, some of the color correction tools of EDIUS and I've selected uh, a few clips here, some problem clips that we need to try and clean up uh, for our tutorial. Now if you're new to EDIUS you might be wondering well just what do I do to get started in doing some color correction in the program. What you want to do is go for the effects bin and as you open up the effects uh, folder you'll find that uh, another folder inside there is called video filters and then we have another folder called color correction. If we move this over we'd see the full wording there and uh, I believe the way the program ships you'll see these iconic uh, symbols for the various color correction tools of EDIUS. If you'd prefer to see these as a text base, just go up to the little folder here, click it, and open up color correction, and now the uh, color correction tools are more of a, a text base. But then as you point to any one filter, you'll see the icon show up. So whichever way you prefer uh, having those represented, um, once you choose one, the next time you run the program, Edius will remember your preference there. And uh, I usually like to just keep it on the text base. It, I can see more options quickly there by just scrolling down. You'll notice that we have uh, quite a few color correction tools here in Edius, and we won't take the time to look at all of them. Uh, in fact, for color correction itself, there's really only one tool to go for, and that is primary color correction. Some of these other tools, like the three-way color correction tool and uh, the color wheel, for example, are somewhat legacy filters, and in reality, almost anything that can be done in these other older filters of EDIUS can also be done better in the primary color correction tool. So we'll spend most of our time taking a look at uh, this filter for color correction. But just to give you an idea, let's just maybe uh, briefly show you what um, one or two of these can do. And the way that you work with any filter in EDIUS is to go and uh, click on it so that it is highlighted and with your left mouse button held down, drag and drop it over to the clip that you want to affect and let your mouse button go. And you'll see now that uh, in our information palette, the filter has shown up. And now to work with that filter, just double click on the filter inside the information palette. And that'll open up a dialog box that shows you the options that you have with this particular filter. So for example, here with this color balance tool, you could add more chroma to your shot or to maybe take some away. And I think this shot probably needs that. Uh, it was a sunset shot and it was really hitting the pagoda strongly at that time. So just by pulling back the chroma a little bit, uh, you can maybe make that clip look a little better. You could, uh, with this filter, uh, work with the uh, exposure a little bit, brightness, or make it a little darker, and also your contrast options. And then also you would be able to try and do a little bit of color correction uh, by these sliders here. But in reality, these early filters that shipped with EDIUS were not as robust as some of the new filters that uh, uh, come with the latest versions of EDIUS and so in my opinion it's just much better to work with the latest filters. So let's uh, maybe cancel out of that. We could maybe take a look at uh, the color wheel for a moment. Let's undo um, the effects that we did in color balance and we can do that by just going down to our information palette and unclicking it. So anything that we just did in color balance is now gone are no longer applied. And then to open up um, the options for this filter, let's just double click on our color wheel here. And you'll see that uh, your video is represented by the little dot in the color wheel. And by sliding it left and right, you can pull um, color information out or add more color information. Or by sliding it around, you can change the color. Uh, and uh, so you can get some very funky effects uh, using this color wheel. But let's cancel out of that and take a look at uh, maybe a couple of others here before we go to our primary tool. If you wanted to do a monotone effect, 
This can be helpful if you want need to go quickly to uh, black and white, or if we double click on our monotone here, we could make it kind of a sepia tone. Let's see what we can do with that using our sliders here. So if you want to kind of give it an older film look um, that was maybe shot back in the 50s, well, you could very quickly do that with your monotone. Okay, but like I say, almost anything that you can do with these filters can also be done better uh, with the primary color correction tool. And so that's the one that I always go for these days. Let's just drag and drop that onto our shot. Let's unclick all of the others so that we're just working now with the primary color correction. Let's open that up. You get a dialog box here that uh, you can see is much more robust than uh, some of the other uh, primitive tools that uh, shipped with early versions of Edius. You see you can work with exposure, uh, temperature even, tint, lift, gamma, gain, but uh, the uh, option that I usually just go straight for is the curves tool because this allows you to do basically everything that you need to do for color correction with your clips. I find that uh, if there is just a little bit too much saturation, like there is in this clip, probably because it was shot at, uh, at sunset on a golden pagoda, we're just maybe getting a little bit more color information than we normally would for our cameras. So let's just maybe bump the saturation down just a little bit. We can see that the clip is also a little dark and we could maybe bump the exposure up a little bit, but I find that working with the curve tool is actually a better option because what you're doing when you use this slider here is that you're adjusting the entire clip. Um, you know, the lights, the darks, the shadows, the mid-tones, you're bumping everything up at the same time when you use this one slider for exposure. So I prefer using the curves because I can adjust um, just the lights the midtones or the darks, depending on how uh, and where I make my selection. So if I want to just brighten up some of the darker arrows, I'll just go right down to this bottom third node here, click on it, and start lifting that up. And that's going to just increase my exposure for some of the darker areas of the video, but leave everything else uh, looking great. It's not going to brighten up some of these other bright areas. In fact, if I wanted to darken some of these light areas, I could go up to the top node here and just pull down on it just a little bit. And uh, if you scroll down, you can see that you do have sliders for each of these options as well. If you keep your um, option on the Y, you'll be able to affect these uh, lights and shadows and midtones just using the slider rather than pointing to the node. So you can see that we can affect just the, the uh, light areas, the highlights, the lights themselves, using the slider rather than pointing to the actual curve itself, the midtones, the darks, and so that looks better. Okay, well, let's take a look at some other clips here. Um, this clip was shot after the sun went down, I believe. So let's see if we can't make it look a little better. Primary color correction, drop it on, open it up. And let's go right straight down to our curves here. And let's lift up the midtones and the shadows, but leave the lights, the light areas alone. All right, and to me it looks a little green. Uh, and what you could try is pulling down the green on the lift, gamma, and gain and see if uh, that helps. So here you're just reducing the green itself. Uh, another way to do that with the curves would be to select the the green from the red, green, blue, and just pull back on the green itself in the midtones. And you see that as you pull back, you're pulling back only on the green. You're not affecting the whole shot. 
uh, as opposed to trying to use your temperature control. You know, if you were to use the temperature sliders here and pull back on the opposite direction from green, what you're doing is adding magenta to the whole shot. And uh, so while it's nice to have these options there, it's probably not the best way to, to reduce the green. You can try it in a pinch, uh, working with these sliders. You might get something that you like. But just know that when you work with these sliders, you're adjusting the whole shot again. You're not just pulling out um, one color. You're, you're affecting your whole shot. All right, just one more example here. And uh, let's pick this really bad problem clip. This is from a shoot that I did in uh, South Sudan where somehow my camera got switched to uh, shooting under fluorescent lights. And so a lot of my footage had this ugly green tint to it. So these are definitely problem clips. And uh, if you have uh, some bad looking shots like this, and uh, so I just want to show you some things that you can do in Edius to help. If you really need to professionally uh, color grade some of this stuff, you might have to go out to After Effects. That's what I've had to do with some of these. But with this new tool of uh, Edius, the primary color correction tool that has uh, been around now for, I guess, a year and a half or so, uh, it is easier to work with these right in Edius. So let's drop this on, double click on that, and that uh, brings up our dialog box. And let's see what we can do about getting rid of some of this ugly green tint. We could try a little bit of working with the um, color temperature tools here. Let's maybe add just a little bit of warmth to it, uh, yellow, and add a little bit of the magenta tint to it. And uh, that's a good start there. It, gets, it was shot at sunset, so that's looking about right, a little better there. And uh, we can maybe pull back on the gamma a little bit, the green gamma. And then we can also go down to our uh, curves here. And uh, we might want to just uh, up the exposure just a little bit. Might help. And bring down the contrast a little bit in the darks. But let's uh, go over to our green uh, option here and just pull down some of the green in the midtones. And I think that's looking better. You have to be careful when you're working with the curves not to do too much. You see, if you slip down too much, it's really getting magenta there. And if you'd like to get a feel for how much you have actually changed a clip, you can uh, go down to the preview options here. And uh, let's see, if we click here, we can see half of the clip is showing the way it was originally, and the other half is showing what we've done to change the color. And if you want to see more of how that is affecting the girl, you can go over to the percentage here and slide that up. And now we're seeing that uh, coming right down through her face. So we can get an idea of the change and the way it used to be. Now you can also uh, see this up and down as well, and then change the percentage at any point and you get an idea of what you've done to change that clip. And you'll find that this preview option is available in virtually all of the color correction tools uh, and filters of Edius, so that you can get an idea of the before and after. All right, so there you have it. The primary color correction tool is the one to go for. And here's a good tip if you have come back from a shoot and uh, half of your footage has the same problem like this, you don't have to do this manually, one by one, for every clip. Um, once you've got it looking the way it should, then you just right-click on the uh, color correction tool as you have changed it in your information palette. Just right-click on it. You'll see that you can save that as a current preset. So that's what I would do, and then just uh, call it uh, like South Sudan Fix. And uh, now we could uh, bring in other clips from... South Sudan that have the same problem and instead of uh, dropping in a filter and messing with it for for 30 seconds you can just drag and drop that preset that you've just made for uh, the South Sudan fix and just drag and drop it on a clip and uh, there you have you might still have to go in and fix a few things but at least the major adjustments have been made let's try a couple more here so 
here's the village again you can see this kind of ugly green tint let's drop our preset on there and you see it uh, makes it look a lot better and uh, you didn't have to spend any time to do that all right well i believe that does it for the color correction tools of uh, edius pro 9.